I'll be explaining you how to use on delay and off delay timers using distributed control system framework and using function block diagram. To test the timers and counters, you need a digital input or the initialization pulse. So I'm taking one initialization pulse. I'll go to timer and simultaneously I'll show you how on delay and off delay timers are working. This is off delay timer I have placed. Now it is possible for you to give multiple connections from a single digital input block. So I can connect on delay timer. Similarly, I can connect it to off delay timer. I can place these blocks the way I want. I can move while clicking this and then release wherever I want to place it. Suppose I want to place it here, I can do this. Now once I have done this, what I need is now I have to configure on delay timer. Go to on delay timer block and right click and configure. The description would be for example in this case T on and the preset value is always in the form of milliseconds. So if I want a delay of 5 seconds, I will put here 5000 milliseconds is the preset value. If I submit it, this value will get enrolled or printed here under the heading of preset. At present accumulator is zero because we have not started the on delay timer. Similarly, you can configure off delay timer. So I call this as T off and I can have a delay of again 5000 milliseconds. That means 5000 seconds. So, so I have configured the time delay value for off delay timer as 5000 milliseconds, which is reflected under the heading of preset. Now, I want to test the on delay and off delay timer. So I have to compile this block, go to compile. The run is now activated. So I click on to run. So once I click on to run, you will find now the circuit is on and I have to initialize the timer. Look at carefully at two locations, accumulator of on delay timer and accumulator of off delay timer. So if I toggle accumulator of on delay timer will start, but the accumulator of off delay timer will not start because the basic difference between on delay and off delay timer is in case of an on delay timer, the moment you start the initialization pulse or energize the initialization pulse on delay timer will start accumulating the value. Whereas if you toggle and again withdraw the command, then and only then off delay timer will start. Please carefully look at now accumulator of off delay timer because I'm going to withdraw the command. Similarly, keep it in mind that the accumulator of this timer should get resetted. So let me go to DI, right click. And if I toggle, just look at this. This has become zero and this has started counting. Whenever it is on, the accumulator of this is becoming zero means now your on delay timer has resetted, but your off delay timer has started and gave you the output. Now, if you want to test the output of the timers, you will have to add the digital output blocks else you can check the status at this location also. For simplicity, let me add digital output block. So I have to stop this circuit. I go to IO. Then I add two digital output blocks. One is and I place them accordingly. I place it over here and I place it to T off and I connect as I told you before, connect them properly. And now let's see how this information, the status of on delay and off delay timer is getting transmitted or transferred to digital output block. So let me compile then run. If I run this, again you will find accumulator, both the accumulators are zero, both the outputs are zero. So let me toggle this, right click on this and toggle. Once this becomes one, the accumulator of this timer has gone high. So accumulator is equal to preset. 
output has become 1. So the same output is transferred to DO. As off delay timer is not energized because you need one more pulse to start that timer, output has remained 1 exactly opposite to on delay timer. Now if I energize this digital input by toggling again, let's see what happens. If I toggle, the accumulator of this will start moving up. As accumulator has become equal to preset, output has become zero. So the digital output connected to off delay timer has become zero. Now that's the learning from how to use on delay timer and off delay timer.